Hi, I'm Park from Minigame Guides. Today I want to show you how you can get each of the 10 hidden achievements in Lake. Let's go! Higher ground. Now you can get this achievement on your very first working day. Just simply drive to the end of the tin road, not far from where you start at the post office. Now on the top of the hill there is a white church and when you drive up to it the achievement should unlock. So that's one down. On your second working day, one of your stops will be at Mildred, the cat lady. Now, she will tell you about her cat Mortimer, who is feeling sick and asks you to drive him to Bert, the fisherman. When you accept to bring him, the location will show up on your map. And the next day, you can simply just drive back to Bert Mackey's house, pick up Mortimer, and when you bring him back to Mildred, the achievement will pop up. That's two down. Okay, so the third achievement is the Tower Watcher. So just basically drive to the Watchtower, I will show you on the map where it is, and just go all the way up. When you reach the top floor, the achievement should pop up. Now I just quickly want to mention that you may also join Kay at the Watchtower during a story, but if you go there with her, this will not be enough to trigger the achievement. You actually need to go completely on your own. Movie Carrier. Now on September 4, you will have to deliver a package at Angie's Flick Shack, a movie rental place. Now she will ask you to meet you at your house, you need to agree to this. And when you meet up later, she will ask you to help her with a marketing idea. So you need to bring this portable movie box to townspeople so they'll warm up to the medium and maybe visit her shop a little bit more often. The first person you need to bring this box to is Lori at the garage. Now the location will show up on your map like they always do. Just simply deliver the box and help her choose a movie. It doesn't really matter which one she ends up picking, but if you want, you can allow her to see Nightmare on Elm Street at your place and build a better bond with Lori, though this is not required for the achievement. The day after bringing her the movie box, you can pick it up back at Lori's. Then you just need to drive back to Enzi's Flick Shack to get new movies. And your next stop is Bert's Lakeside House, the one we visited to drop off the sick cat. Again, you can help decide which movie he will watch. Just wait a day and then you can pick up the movie box at Bert's once again. And when you bring it back to Angie, the achievement will pop up. Workaholic. Now, most evenings you'll get a phone call from either your parents or your boss, Steve. Whenever Steve asks you to help him out, like looking at his proposal or signing papers, just simply choose the options where you would do what he asks. Now after the second night where you do as he requests, your achievement will pop up. Metal Detector. Now this is the really truly most secret achievement in my opinion. Now you need to actually just find Andy the Detectorist. So this is a person who is using a metal detector to find treasure. Now your best bet to find Andy is in the fields near the farm on Friday the 4th and Saturday the 5th September. He's usually not far from the road leading up to the farm. I found him on a day where I had to deliver a letter to Farmer Jack and he practically stood out like a sore thumb in the fields. Now I also found him later at the watchtower when I went to do that achievement, but the fields are probably the best and easiest place to find him. Shutterbug. Now on September 5th, go to the general store near the post office and talk to Nancy. Now she will complain about being asked to develop photos and having to test the camera herself. Basically, you need to offer to take the pictures in her stat. As long as you are in possession of the camera, you can just press C on a keyboard to use the camera. You just need to take 12 pictures in total, and once you've taken all 12 pictures, the game will tell you the next day to make a delivery at her shop and let you return the camera. And when you've submitted your camera roll, just come back the next working day and she'll ask you to pick a photo to submit for the contest. Right after making your choice, the achievement will pop up. Now, this part is really important. The next three achievements are all based on the ending you choose. So be sure to make a save file at the end of September 12th. This is going to be your very last working day. And just be sure to save right before you enter the post office after delivering all your packages. This way you can load the save back up to get to the other two endings. Now each one of these endings will take about 20 minutes of playing from this point because there are a lot of unskippable cutscenes, but it's the only way to get all the achievements. Now the first ending is Free Spirit, where you need to leave in the RV. Now you will have to deliver a letter to the campground at some point, which is where you will meet Mickey and June. Just be nice to them and choose to say goodbye when they leave for Canada and they will give you their RV. Now after this you just need to make sure that you never give the RV away. For example, there's going to be an option to give it to Lori. Do not do this. 
Now this entire RV ending also ties into the NG romance option. Basically be as nice to her as possible throughout the game and when she asks to kiss or hug just say yes. On the final day Angie will show up, ask you to leave with her in the RV, simply choose yes and wait until the achievement pops up just before the credits roll. Now the romance is not needed to get the achievement, you can also just leave in the RV on your own, but hey you might as well take her with you for gas money. Hometowner is the second possible ending, so for example whenever Frank asks you at the final day what did you decide, you can just say I want to stay here and the achievement will pop up. Now in case you didn't tell Frank that you want to stay, he's going to bring you to the airport. Now along the way, Robert the lumberjack is going to drive you off the road and give you a final chance to stay. So this is basically the Robert romance option. Basically be as nice to him as possible throughout the game and choose him to help him with the anti-deforestation campaign by doing paperwork with him and recording the campaign message on the radio. That way you can just drive off with Robert at the end of the game into the sunset. And the very last possible ending and achievement is life in the fast lane. Now at the end of the game simply make every possible decision that says you want to stop working for the post office. So you're going to deny Frank his partner, you're going to deny Angie's road trip in the RV. And when Robert drives you off the road and kind of declares in a very unromantic way that he wants to be with you, then you're going to say no and you're gonna get back into the car with the gambling addict Frank and he's gonna drive you off to the airport. And now just sit back, relax and enjoy the achievements and the credit sequence. You've earned it. But those were all the achievements you can get for Lake at this point right now. I hope you found this useful. If you did let me know in the comments down below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.